Hi, this is Tony Rogers with the Products by Design podcast, where product development industry experts share their insight. It's six questions in nine minutes because product development experts are busy and want to get right to the point. So let's get started. In a few sentences, please tell us who you are and what you do. Hi, my name is Sagar Chaudhary. I'm a senior product engineer at a manufacturing company, Buffalo Wireworks. I'm experienced in process improvement, new product development, including a patented product, and managing products from customer to customer. That includes recommending like best suitable products for customers for their application to the whole cycle of reviewing the customer feedback, any issues or complaints and stuff. Excellent. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks for being on as well. So tell me, uh, what's the best thing about being in product development? Uh, the best thing is the feel, the satisfaction you get after you make some product and it actually works and people appreciate that, right? So, uh, at the end of it, when you go through the whole cycle of ups and downs and thrills and unknowns and stuff, and at the end of it, you look at it and you say to yourself, yeah, it was all worth it. That's the best feeling. <laughs> that is a great feeling. And it's always good when it works as well, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I hear in the industry, companies are always looking to accelerate product development, increase innovation, and or improve the handoff from design to manufacturing. Tell me your thoughts. Um, I'll start with handoff. I'm for product development. I'm not a fan of handoff because handoff works when there are less uncertainties, less unknowns. When you have things well defined, well established, then you can say like this person, this department works on this, and then it moves on to other stuff. When you talk about product development, you're dealing with unknowns. You're dealing with uncertainties. So you cannot have a cut and dry handoff. <clears throat> Okay. You need all the departments, everybody involved need to be working together. So I personally recommend using a agile or a lean method. You, uh, when you brainstorm, you can generate lots of ideas, right? Sure. And ideas can come from anybody. So with those ideas, you need based on your expertise and experience, you pick your best ideas and uh, you want to test those quickly. So you want to run like sprints, or fast fail method. So you want to test those ideas quickly to see if they have any potential to go further or you scrap and move on to the next idea. So you need to be involved with the whole team. You want your quality people, production, marketing, sales, not only designers and engineers. So what that does is like once you have that system, you can test out the ideas pretty quickly. <laughs> And that helps you expediting the innovation and process uh, sorry, uh, the product development. Mm -hmm. And one more thing that does is like, since you have all the people involved, right? It becomes easy to get their buy-in when you actually have that product uh, in your portfolio. Sure. Uh, you don't have to deal a lot with the natural human tendency of resistance to change or something new, right? Yep. When it's coming from people and they're involved. It's easy for them to work on it or to buy in and like, then it flows smoothly in the whole your process and improves your efficiency. Okay, very good, thank you. Mm -hmm. So tell me what other industry experts like yourself should be on the Products by Design podcast? Uh, I have seen quite a few engineers. So I have seen a lot of uh, technical background people on the okay. podcast. I'd like to see some people from different background, like somebody from supply chain or marketing okay. or uh, somebody from production. Yeah. So just to, it will be a good mix to get an idea like what they think about the product development. Okay, we'll try to, tr we'll try to make that happen. <laughs> so tell me, what other insights would you like to share with other product manufacturers? Um, I'd like to say, uh, you always need to be innovative if you need to think out of the box or you need to be basically passionate about learning and not be afraid of trying out new things. That's for individuals and for management, I would say like the more you have team environment, it does help making things smoother and like, you know, developing products faster because everybody's working with each other. So not necessarily like you have to like sugarcoat and pat on back every time you see but you have to be honest and rational sure um, 
and think op with open minded uh, that definitely helps things moving faster i'd like to use uh, my own journey as a small example okay so i did uh, my bachelor's in mechanical engineering and that taught me how to design like how to use the software what design consideration constraint you use it taught me like technical and theoretical aspects how do you select the material how do you analyze it and then i thought like yeah that's great i now i know how to do it but then when i started uh, working and when i finished my uh, masters in industrial engineering it gave me perspective of that you also need to consider the whole organization organization uh, it's not only the end user you are working for but you have internal customers as well okay. other departments are your internal customers so you don't want to make it difficult for your internal customers to make it easier for somebody else so you have to be mindful of that as well so you have to consider consider it about processes and resources available and that really helps you in developing the product and then my recent experience and my mba taught me like even further to expand that uh point view of like when you develop the product you also need to consider what market you are in are you in like cost efficiency market are you in a niche market or a quality market what do you, your customers expect from you what are their requirements so always consider customer feedback what is the market data i mean you can make the best product but if it is not cost effective or if it is not user friendly or if it, there is not a demand for it you cannot justify right. doing that so you need to be mindful of these aspects also and not only the technical side of it sure sure there's a lot of investment so you got to be but it got to be cautious so hey we're just about out of time uh, mm -hmm. So, wanted to ask you, what is the craziest thing you've seen in product development? Oh, the craziest thing is like, and I, you don't need to be an engineer or technical person to generate an idea. It can come from anybody: your manufacturing employees, your maintenance people, your vendors, machinists, uh, even your customer, the people who are actually who are actually using the product or making the product. They could also give you lots of good ideas on how you go about developing the product. Excellent. Well, thank you for being on. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. This is Tony Rogers with the Products by Design podcast, where product development industry experts share their insight. It's six questions in nine minutes because product development experts are busy and want to get right to the point. For more insights and ideas, please go to creativemechanisms.com.